Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, we are going to talk about mint production, specifically mint yield. So for example, how much mint can you get from a vertical stand? And I'm going to use the, the system that this farmer is currently using. So we are going to take a look at the vertical system that he's using and we are going to talk about some figures. How much mint do you get from one of those columns? Um, how much you get from an entire row of those columns and then ultimately how much you can get from a 3,000 square feet and a subscriber had asked me um, how much mint they can get from a, 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 a 3,000 square feet uh, greenhouse so I'm basically just going to give you the figures using this production um, system style right of course you will have other production systems or other style of growing using other growing media so i'm we are using well the farmer they are using gravel here you might some farmer might choose to use other substrates so um bear in mind that the, the the figures the estimated figures that i tell you here it is relative to environmental conditions growing media nutrient all of those kind of things right um and of course your overall management so you can get a yield that is much higher than what I'm going to tell you and you can get a yield that is much lower based on how you manage right so let us go and talk about the 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 mint yield all right so in in estimating the yield we are basically just going to use um one we are going to use this one row right this one row that spans from this end of the greenhouse to to that end so let us talk about some measurements so a 3000 square feet greenhouse is normally 100 feet by 30 feet so basically the length of this the length of this mint production system that you are seeing here is basically 100 feet so um each of these these columns let me just ensure that you can see it each of these columns here right each of them measures from there to there measures 20 feet right and we have one two three this is three right here right four right this is four and this is an empty vertical um column um that it doesn't have any but it, it will soon so it's five so it's five times 20 as i said it's 20 feet so that is 100 feet so already we have a 100 feet of the, 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 the length of the greenhouse I want. Now each of these vertical stands they basically have three three levels or three canals. So one, two, three. So and when I say three, it shouldn't actually be three, it should be six, right? Each of them have as six, but what I meant was each of the vertical stand has three on one side. And then if you look in the back, there is another three right so it's basically for one column or for one vertical system there is six separate canals right so um that is it but you find that with some of these systems you find that on the ground level you have some growing but i'm not going to use that put that in the in the estimation right i'm just going to use the three the six the six canals then basically so i have i've gone ahead and i've already done some measurement right so basically from from let me show you because i want to have this as practical and as short as possible right so i have already gone ahead and and measured 30 feet so 30 feet in terms of width because 30 by 100 100 in length 30 by in width is one is 3000 square feet so from that hen to let me show you to this hen right here right the end of this canal is 30 feet right um so i've already gone ahead and calculated how many of these canals right we can get um in 30 feet and i got five so we can get five of these systems five of them in the 30 feet right remember i've gone ahead and done the measurement each of these canals, as I said, one of them in length measures 20 feet and in terms of width, it measures 4 feet, right? So, 
what I've done is in order to facilitate a two feet walkway so obviously I'm going to need a walkway here so two feet walkway here then a bed two feet walkway here then a bed two feet walkway here then a bed two feet walk and, and so on so on so on and so forth until the 30 feet is finished so I facilitated two feet of walkway in between each each canal each each bed and remember it's not like you have to make the canals as though it is here this farm is just basically being creative and improvising because the canals are already there and the canals are already um, running back into a main main pipe to go back to the reservoir so you just put these canal these vertical system inside the canal so that any water running back out of the canals run back into this 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 large bed and then goes back into the main system so you can always make your vertical system without 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 this without this platform here right um so where are we now so of course as i said 30 feet and you can get five of these um let us leave out the canals five of these vertical system five of this row you can get from it right um so and then now in terms of the distance in between the in terms of the distance in between the canals that you make distance from here to here is basically two feet right so when you're making the different canals on the vertical system with using this reference it's two feet apart right two feet apart so where are we now let us talk about the yield so yesterday i had the privilege of watching francois which is one of the laborers here harvesting from this part of the this top canal right so it was harvesting and this middle one as well this one hasn't been touched so it was harvesting so i asked him how, how many how many bags because he harvest um and put them in bags how many bags does he get from one canal right one of these canals here and he told me he got 25 bags from one canal so i told him then okay then so how much do you get from one of the vertical system which holds six canals so he said that um with using a, a 25 bag average on one canal he gets 150 so 150 bags of mint per canal right and remember we have five five of these vertical system in one row right remember we have five of them and then of course as you can see we have a cutoff right here um and that is basically based on how the canal was designed originally right right and then now it's it's better that way because of course with 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 with, with in terms of management you can always like you know at the, at the end of this canal you can always walk in between here and do some practices you know you don't have to be walking all the way down the length of the of the canals of the of the vertical system to go around again right so at, at at 20 feet 20 feet intervals you can basically go through and you know do whatever practices so as i said we have five five there and i asked him so how much does the bags weigh so he said each bag weighs between 12 to 14 grams so i say okay then okay then 150 150 150 times five right so it would be 150 150 bags right times five canals would basically be 750 right it's basically five of these um rows of canals you can get in a 3000 square feet greenhouse so if you multiply f um 750 times five you basically get 3750 bags of mint right for the 3000 square feet greenhouse let me say that again you will get five of these lengthwise canals five of them so five five of them will hold in in the row of and then remember the length of your greenhouse is 100 feet and then you are going to take you have, you have, of course you are going to take three feet from the back three feet from the from the front so that you could walk around right and when i said three feet what i mean is that that means is that at the end of this row, right, or this last canal, at the end of it, you're basically going to leave a three feet right here so that you could walk around. You don't want it to be flush on the canal, right? The, 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 the end of the greenhouse to be flush on the canal. Leave a three feet so you could walk around. So I basically leave you with um, uh, 94 feet. So five canals, right? Um, 150 bags per canal right and you basically get 
750 bags per row and then as I said earlier for the for the five system like this that you're going to put in you'll basically get 3750 bags of 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 mint right 3750 bags of mint you'll get for 3000 square feet greenhouse and if you multiply 3750 by 12 because remember 12 grams per bag each bag weighs 12 grams so let me show you what the bags look like right let me show you what the bags look like quickly these are the bags here right they have said them these are the bags here so one of these weigh 12 grams so if you should say um 3750 times 12 grams you get 45,000 grams right 45,000 grams of mint for the 3,000 square feet greenhouse and then now if you want to convert that to, to pound you basically say um 45,000 grams divided by 454 um uh, 454 grams give you one pound and you'll basically get um 99 point something pound roughly 100 pounds you'll get um per 43,000 square feet greenhouse so in conclusion this this yield is is relative to your management style your 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 growing growing um your substrate we are using gravel right here right um your nutrient formulation temperature a lot of a lot of things right so um i don't know if 100 i mean 100 pound is a good amount based on the market that you are supplying so obviously you can see that with a system like this it can work but it goes to show how much you can get from a 3000 square feet um to, to based on my um knowledge i mean it, it is 100 pounds out of a 3000 square feet using this system um, and these kind of measurements it's basically it, that, that's not enough to 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 to, to supply to be um, consistent with, with, with a market especially a high-end market like a hotel market and so on you, you basically need more space right you want to be pulling out more than 100 pounds of mint right because mint is basically in high demand and um, as I said based on your market you will have to decide if this system could work for you right and as you can see how the plants are growing uh you just basically try to 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 to, to put as much uh, as much mint in one vertical system as possible while not sacrificing um environmental conditions that that are beneficial like the sunlight airflow and so on so um this is basically the rough estimate right um and and I hope this can be a good reference point for you uh, in terms of the different measurements and what you can do um, to basically make it work for you, right? So that is it. If you have any questions, any comments, put them in the comments area. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.